Man, I got a big, huge order. Uh, that just came in the mail. Two boxes. These are both from eBay. Two different sellers. Um, and no, this is not wine that's in here. Although, it's a wine box. But, yeah, the seller shipped my puzzles in this. And, and this had a whole bunch of puzzles. Like about 40 puzzles. 41 puzzles this. And I paid a whole lot for it. Um, and I've, I've stumbled, across, stumbled upon one of the seller's auction list. And I bid on it. And, um, looked at some of his other auction and bid some more on some of the others. And hey, you know, I won a whole bunch of them. And, this is it. And I also have bid on one other one, uh, that he just shipped out. And, that should be coming and later this week, maybe it's a Friday, Saturday is. And this smaller one was just something that I just stumbled upon randomly. And it looks like it's a puzzle that I've been wanting to get for the past 10 years and never gotten around to it. And I'll go on. Um, and getting this, um, smaller package open first. This should be the MFA square one. It's an MFA square one. But, I don't know which one is it. I, from the looks of it, it looks like it's the version one. But, the seller was listing it as the method square one. And I can understand that. Because, one... Back 10 years ago, or 12 years ago or so, when MFA first, like literally, started reproducing, or producing these, um, square ones. Um, Netflix was also selling them, um, and, hey, you know, I'm fine with what it is, if it's the voting one, then I'm Super happy. If it's not, then mm, I'm okay. But I do have the version two that I got from eBay maybe a year, year ago or so. A while back, I saw it cheaply on eBay, and I was like thinking, you know what? Take a gamble. Might be the version 1, I doubt it, but it's version 2, and I'm fine with that. And this happens to be, yes, the version 1. Holy cat. And just looking at the inside from it, by doing this a bit, it looks dusty and dirty on the inside. But, hell yeah, this looks amazing. Let me just look, see if this is actually the MFA brand. Yep, it is MFA. As you can see, it says MFA on the center cap. And, yeah, it is the version 1. Respectively. And back then, back 10 years ago, around the time when I started cubing, um, square one, as square one being an event, um, the square ones out there, you could buy were like, um, the original um, square one that was produced back in the, in the 90s um, the MFA version 1 
uh, and some other cheap generic, somewhat unbranded square ones, and just basically not much back then. And the MFA uh, version 1 was one of the most popular and well recommended puzzle. And the thing about it was that it came stiff, but it took a very long time for a lot of people to actually break it in and make it really good where the um, top and bottom layers were like loose to the point where you can just rotate it really effortlessly. And now onto this bigger box. This bigger box, as I said, contained about 41 puzzles or so. And a lot of these puzzles I'm gonna be keeping. Um, well, a lot of these puzzles, gonna, I'm gonna be sorting them into three categories of puzzles that I'm keeping, puzzles that I'm reselling, and puzzles that I'm modding. And some of these puzzles I actually got a really good deal on. Um, because some of these are like ones that, uh, I've been looking for and couldn't, cannot find for a while. So, yeah. And I'm actually gonna move this box over and then take out the puzzle sort of one by one, um, and show you all what I have. Alright, right here. Shang Shao 3x3. This is the box for the original Shang Shao 3x3. Uh, which is the very first model 3x3. And, but this is actually the Aurora or Wind or something like that. Um, there's that one. Then I got this puzzle. Um, this Calvin's puzzle, cute Tony Fisher type puzzle, which is a mix of regular 3x3 and Fisher cube. Yeah. Um, Shang Tsung Mega Mings, the original Shang Tsung Mega Ming, nothing special. Um, I got this hex prism. Never had one of these, and always been wanting one. And it is really cool. And this is, looks like it's the dancing version, not the original method. Um, all right, we got. This 3x3x5 three by three by handmade extended 3x3x5 three by three by not fully functional looks like it's made with like a 45mm 3x3 three three. that's not a 57mm 3x3 three three. Yeah. it's like 50mm 3x3 three three as the base but the color Scheme is kind of odd, no. But hey, it's actually really well done, no. Yeah, really well done. Um, all right, we have the YJ Yusu four by four white. That's what the box said, um, but it may be something different. No, it's a Yushin 4x4. I don't know exactly what model, no. Um, uh, we got a Shinkai 4x4. 
this, the original XXL 4x4 box, which has the Yushu, Yuhu in it. Yeah, Yushu in it. Um, that here, a uh, Yushu Lion. 3x3, three three, whatever it is. Um, let's see. Which is actually, why is it? One long. No, a U long. Um, we got. Cheng Chao Rainbow Fox. 3x3. Three which is actually Cyclone Boys, Feiwu, um, Yushin Pillow 3x3, three three. which is awesome. Um, next we got the Kai, Kai Warrior W, um, Whatever this one is. Not the newest. Um. CLW or whatever it is. The newest W. C puzzle. Um. This is a Leaf Fun puzzle box. Um. Which has. A Yushin. Um. 2x2 two two in it. Don't know the model. Right now. Um. I'll. Look it up later. Um, right here is the top to Shang Chao um, puzzle three by three, which I'll get to later. Um, use some lion box four by four or whatever four by four this is, which is a Yushin four by four. And I don't know exactly which model it is. Um, we got right here Shang Shao Tank Pure Minx sticker or whatever it is. Whatever Pure Minx it is. Uh, hard to tell. What pure minx it is right now. Definitely not the tank pure minx. But I have the tank pure minx from Shang Shao. And it's awesome. And Shang Shao has only made the tank pure minx. Though in secret. Secret list. Um, so here is the top set. Shang Shao box. Um, but it actually has this. Houston. Um, Curlin version 1 in it. Um, uh, this, um, was a one long secretless box that contains, um, this. Pe this Pokemon cube. Some of the stickers are in bad condition, but I don't care. And it's one of those cheapo party store style cube from what I can tell um yeah it's one of those cheapo dollar store party store type cube um alright got another Yushin box which is for the 5 of 5 um which actually contained Another Yushin 3x3. Three three. It's the fire and water or something like that. I don't know. Um, let's see. We got the Sheng Shao Master Morphing Spock. Which contains the actual Master Morphing. Um, yeah. So. Here's the 
YJ equilateral um, rainbow cube um, never been I've always sort of wanted it and I've been putting it on my back burner list of puzzles that I want to buy but I'll buy it whenever I feel like buying it or when I get a chance to but it's not one that immediately need to have or want to have right away or want to buy right away um up next would be a special shanks out puzzle which is one that they released 10 years ago or so and this is 2x2 two two ball for it said the 2014 FIFA World Cup South Africa so they released it a while back and it never got that much attention because a lot of stores sold it but it was like heh not many people bought into it and really it just became one of those Shang Shao puzzles that one of few Shang Shao puzzles that they made like roughly about 10 years ago or so that just became one of those forgotten puzzles um, and up next we have the Shang Shao Pyromorphic which I already have one but the one that I have is the Chicolate Pillow version and this is the um, black face um, version no, and it is big like big and comparing it to like this pyramid it's like just a little bit bigger than that pyramid um, so we have this 4x4 which is the Yusu, the YJ Yusu, I think, I'm not sure. I'm not on sensor which what about for that is. Um, up next, things I'll kill a mink. Um, nothing special about this one, just things I'll kill a mink. Um, up here we have another Yushin, this is the Yushin Water, um, box, no, which looks like it doesn't have the Yushin Water 3x3 three three in it, it might be the Yushin Water, I don't know exactly what 3x3 three three model this is as of right now, um, Okay, we got five of five. Shang Chao, I think. It's a Shang Chao. Pretty sure it's Shang Chao. Yeah, it's Shang Chao, but it looks like an older, older one. Um, yeah. And then we have the Shang Chao three by three. Tank, gem, or what? I don't really remember exactly what 3x3 three three this is from Chang Shao. This might be the Mr. M 3x3. Three three. I doubt it. But there's only one way to really check. And no, it's not. Um, alright, what next? We got, alright, gear cube. Nothing special about this. Uh, Shang Shao Legend 3x3 three three box, which is actually a Yushin Fire, 
on water three by three. I don't know exactly which one. Uh, what next? Sing Sao Mega Minx, which is the gem. No, the what? Or something like that. I don't know exactly which one. This is. But it's one of the newer ones. Um. Yeah, it's the Aurora from the box. You know. I think it's the Aurora Mega Man. Who knows? Oh, uh, God. Cyclone Boys 5x5. Five five. Uh, right here. Well, Cyclone Boys 5x5 five five box, which it contains a Moyu Oswang or something like that. But it's a good 5x5. Five five. Uh, what next? We got a QB style um, box. Uh, which contains the Yushin 5x5. Five five. I don't know exactly which 5x5 five five this is. Uh, we got... Whoa! An MF8 box which contains a 6x6 six six. Um, which is yeah, Sing Chow 6x6 six six. Um We got Cyclone Boy 4x4 Um we got Sheng Chow 5x5, five five. Wind 5x5, five five. then that's like decent 5x5, five five. not too bad, I'm a 5x5, five five. um, up next we have Sheng Chow Aurora box, which, pretty sure this is the actual Aurora, um, but nope, original Sheng Chao 5, original Sheng Chao 3 by 3 first model. Um, right here, we have Yushin 4x4 box, which, well, why is a Yushu box, which actually contains a Yushin 4x4? I don't know exactly which model this is. Um, up next we have the Guansu box, which contains a 4x4 four four and a Sheng Shao. No surprise there. Don't know which version this is. I'm thinking version 4 or 5. Um, alright, uh, right here. We got a, um, Yushin Little Magic 6x6, which is one that I've kind of been, well, Yushin Little Magic 6x6 box, so that contained a 5x5, five five, is a Shang Shao Legend 5x5. Five which I already have, and it's a fantastic 5x5. Five five. So, there's that. Um, got three more puzzles to go. Um, here's a YJ Yu Chung 5x5 five five box, which contains a 5x5, five five, which I don't know if it's the Yu Chung 5x5. Five um, I think it is. I'm not on sure. I don't know. Half these puzzles, I just don't know exactly what model they are. Because the seller packs them in random boxes that are not the boxes that it originally came in. 
So, yes, I need to just organize these puzzles, look at which models or which, and decide which ones that I'm really keeping, which ones I'm modding, which ones I'm reselling, and stuff like that. Alright. We got, right here, Shang Tso Kigami. Again, this is a puzzle that I've been wanting to buy for a while. That's been put on my back burner of list of puzzles that to buy. And, you know what? I actually got a good deal on this. About $15. Plus some shipping pricing. Which is really good for this puzzle. Oh. Yes. This actually feels really good. Like, really good. Because currently, and as of currently, that I don't, I have recently bought the, um, Cute for you, Gigamink, which is a special one that was like made 10 years ago, first model, and it was, as from what I tell and feel, it's just complete, utter garbage. Walks up, turns terrible, and it's just not that fun at all, and also bad stickers, but this feels so much better. Feels like something that I actually want to actually play with more often. And then this last puzzle is one that I'm very excited to have. Because it's the Shang Tsung Terming. Which, again, I got a good deal on it. About $25, $30 or something like that. I don't remember exactly. And as of right now, it feels really good. Turns really well. And I do have the MFA terming, which is meh, mediocre. Although the MFA terming turns good, but this feels much better. And I love the fact that it has flat facing instead of the pillar facing of the chairman. So, anyway, this is all the puzzles that I got today, and please look out on my eBay shop, which I'll have a link to in the description below, to where you can up see when I post some of these puzzles up for sale and whatnot. Um, in the next few weeks. 